Hey guys, hope you have been doing well. Today is the first day of spring break, so I thought I would make a little video for you guys. I've gotten quite a few questions about shadowing and internship and research opportunities as a pre-med student, so I thought I would go ahead and talk to you guys about my experience and hopefully give some advice that you will find useful during your experience. A lot of medical schools look for um, people to be involved with research and shadowing mostly, so we'll focus on that. The first part is research, just because I've been working on my honors thesis and it's just like very present on my mind right now. So medical schools want to see you involved with some sort of research because they want to know that you understand the scientific process. So my research experience was in a health psychology lab. I started out just doing data analysis and um, collecting data. I did a whole variety of work in the lab and I thought it was really useful because um, working in a health psychology lab at least, I got to interact with people and that was my favorite part. During my sophomore and junior years mostly, I was doing data collection and it was the more repetitive tasks of research. Um, that's another thing you will learn for yourself is that research is very detail oriented and you have to be very meticulous as a researcher to make sure you obtain accurate data that correctly represents what you're trying to measure. It wasn't until I started my honors thesis that I really started getting into the whole scientific method, doing full re lit review searches, you know, explaining why every measure was used and why it was the best measure to use, if it was a survey, and just being able to think through all those little details. Those were all really valuable in giving me the critical thinking skills that would also be useful for medical school. So while you are looking for research opportunities, it's pretty simple. All I did was I went to the psychology department website and then I found a list of their faculty and then I just went down the list and looked at the faculty and looked at what research they were doing. Then I found somebody who I was most interested in, or whose research I was most interested in. And then once you find a professor whose research is really interesting to you, then go and go ahead and email the professor. So try to be really professional and try to brag a little bit in your email, sharing some of your accomplishments and why you would be qualified to work in their lab. But also keep it brief because professors are really busy people, probably doing a multitude of different things. So for example, in my email that I sent to my PI, I just told her, Hey, I'm Nikki. I'm a pre-med student studying these majors and I would like to be involved with your research lab because such and such was interesting and I wanted to like gain more experience in research or something like that. So I sent this email to maybe about five different labs or like a similar email. Um, make sure it's specific to each person's research because you don't want to be too vague. If you find something you are truly interested in, that will really help keep you motivated in staying in research and it'll be more exciting for you to learn new things in that field. For medical school, being involved with any type of research will be useful. You just need to be able to think about how it will apply to either your like critical thinking or how you interact with people in order to become a better doctor. That is really the goal of why med schools want you to do research. So in interviews, if people ask you what you are involved in with research, like even if you are only involved in data collection, like you didn't have the opportunity to come up with your own questions and run a full-on study by yourself, you should be able to understand the literature that the study you're helping in is based off of and you know feel free to ask your PI, your mentor or whoever in the lab. Feel free to ask as many questions as you can to prepare you for the interview so that you can focus on the background, the purpose and the outcomes instead of the methods because anyone can say they learned how to pipette and chances are most people have learned pipetting who are applying to medical school. So being able to reason through why 
your study was important even though you didn't play a huge role in making it um, will make a big difference. So that's all I'm going to say about research because I've already rambled on pretty long now and I wanted to get some time in for shadowing and internships. Finding somebody to shadow sounds really intimidating but it is probably one of the most important things you will do as a pre-medical student. Shadowing gives you a little bit of insight to what you would be doing as a doctor and like basically it helps you see what you're pursuing in the long term. Therefore it's really important to find those opportunities. Some people are a little bit intimidated on finding someone to shadow because it might be awkward approaching a random doctor. But, just so you guys know, the first person I ever shadowed was my ex-boyfriend's father. I was admittedly like super nervous asking him if I could shadow him, but like I figured the worst thing he could say is no, and we would just move on with our lives, which was fine. But he ended up saying yes, and shadowing him made such a big impact in my life because it helped me see the end goal of all the hard work I'm putting into undergrad and the even harder work I will put into med school and then the way hard work um, for residency. And shadowing is just absolutely necessary because it allows you to confirm whether it is the right fit for you. To find someone to shadow, you can really ask anybody and you know if they say no, just say thank you and move on. But you know I asked my ex-boyfriend's dad. A lot of people ask like their parents' friends if they have one. Another really good resource is going to the pre-med advising office at your school, or if your school doesn't have it, just find some sort of career or academic advisor. It is their job to be connected with the community and providing resources for their students, so chances are they will have contact information for doctors who will typically let pre-med students shadow. So while you're shadowing, it may be a good idea to also ask that doctor if there are doctors from other specialties. And it's also really important to try shadowing physical therapists, um, physician assistants, and nurse practitioners to be able to see how their roles in the medical field relate to doctors. Some people have also asked me about my internship experience. So I did an internship through the medical school that is in my state. We did this full year workshop where we did books, attended lectures, and presented on healthcare disparities. And after that, we had an internship portion where some of us were doing research, some of us were working like with nurses to do paperwork, and I was actually really privileged to be with a general surgeon. and. <clears throat> Basically for the whole summer, I got to shadow her full time, which was really awesome, and I got paid for it. If you're looking for an internship similar to this, I would definitely check out local hospitals. Some hospitals have programs like this. Usually medical schools will have programs like this as well, so check your nearest one to see if they have one available. And if you have trouble finding other health-related internships, you can also go to your pre-med advising office. Alright guys, and that is the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions, I'm sure this video wasn't completely comprehensive, although I tried my best. Um, just leave it in the comments below. I have definitely been blessed in my opportunities and I want to share any resources I can with you guys so that you will be successful in your journeys, whatever that may be. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!